Vincent Gyorgy, the 1937 Nobel laureate for medicine, once famously said, research is to see what everybody else has seen, yet to think what no one else has done. On that note, this is Rohita Saravanan from BRAS20, feeling ecstatic to welcome you all to the inauguration of the Clinical Cellular, Molecular Genetics and Translational Research Club of the Government Park Medical College, Chennai, abbreviated as the CCMGCR Club. With the aim of achieving heights in student-driven research and establishing a strong scientific rapport among NMBA students on campus, we are gathered today on the 5th of September, Teachers' Day, to pay our utmost respect and gratitude to our amazing mentors and members of faculty who have guided us through every step of the way and have made this club a reality. We hope that today marks a historical beginning in the rosters of KMC, one of immense cooperation between professors and students alike to foster academic innovation, encourage young minds, and direct our zeal for learning to serve a greater cause. Let us now begin today's proceedings by paying homage to our motherland with a rendition of the Tamil Thai I request everyone to kindly rise for the same. Yeah, 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 yeah
and I am very proud to introduce uh, Dr. Sudarshan Balaji, uh, who has been selected as one of the youngest uh, scientists, young scientists of India. Uh, above, around the one twenty-five are selected all over India, and he is one, and he has brought an honor to our institution. So inspired by this, uh, Dr. Sena Dipati and Priya Dakshini and many children, they came and asked repeatedly that they want to have some genetic studies, and that's uh, how the thought of this club was born. And uh, surely with the support of our Dean Madam, VP Madam, and all the excellent uh, teachers, professors here, I'm sure we'll bring out the wonderful students who will be uh, bringing a lot of laurels to this institution and will be a boon to the patients and the medical fraternity. And I once again thank the Almighty, my parents, my gurus, uh, our beloved Dean Madam, and uh, each one of you for giving me this opportunity to deliver this welcome address. And uh, on this Teacher's Day, I just want to dedicate one small uh, two words. That is from uh, 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 Guru Ashtagam. This was written by the Adi Guru Adi Shankaracharya to show the significance of Guru, how Guru's blessing is important. More than anything, uh, it is. Uh, it goes like this. Na bhogi na yogi na baba ji raju na kaate suke na eva vitte shu sittam manasche na lightnam guru rangi bhatme tatakim 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 tatakim. This tatakim means what is the use of everything, and the meaning of this verse is. Even if you obtain great knowledge and you possess the whole of earth in your hand, everything is of no use. It is in vain if you don't have the blessing of the Guru. So this is the meaning of this. And in our Munoval Solitaga, Mata Pita Guru Devam, and Ali Kirkara Naik Guru Nargalukum in our Yavanaka Sikhanjigra. And uh, may all the, the children have done a wonderful work. So all the Guru's blessing, I'm sure it will take the children to great heights. Uh, I welcome each one of you and uh, thank each one of you for giving me this opportunity. Jai Hind. Thank you, ma'am. We now humbly request our respected Director of Medical Education, OSD, and Dean, Professor Dr. R. Shanti Malar, ma'am, to officially inaugurate the Clinical Cellular Molecular Genetics and Translational Research Club of Government Kew Park Medical College by unveiling the banner and the logo of the CCFGTR Club. Please, ma'am. Thank you. 
Connecticut Superintendent, ma'am. objectives, operations, bylaws, and functioning of the club, along with the list of faculty advisory board members and the list of all student members of the club for the academic year 2022-23. Over to Viper. We now have a genetics and transnational research awareness program by Dr. Kyadarajan Pravindar Sir, Professor in Indian Surgery, for Microbiology at our institution. Sir completed his MBBS from Stanley Medical College, Chennai, and holds an MD in Microbiology from Chikmat College. Sir is a prolific name in the world of research and has published over 30 scientific articles in various national and international journals with interest in lab diagnostic of infectious diseases, infection control, biomedical waste management, and antibiotics to He is a guiding light to UG and PG students alike and here. It is no doubt that we are blessed to have Sir as the joint faculty in charge of our CCMG Club. Sir will be giving a short talk on why this club was founded, the objectives, long term and short term goals and how we plan to implement various activities in this club and what we achieve through this club and last but not the least, the clinical relevance and impact of this club in medical practice. Over to you Sir. Thank you very much. Respected DME OST Madam, Vice Principal Madam, Medical Superintendent Madam, Deputy Superintendent Madam, uh, Respected Professors and my dear friends, uh, warm wishes and very happy Teachers Day to everyone. This note, the dream come true situation today to start a research oriented club. Uh, AMC, we have started many clubs, including academic and literary clubs, but this is the first of its kind, not only here, among all the other colleges, to start a research club. And that too, the need of the hour and the, the word in research in present days is translational research, so that we have started. And the our friends have asked me to brief on this club activities as well as awareness about the program and why we started this. And now the whole world is based on genomics. It's not a new terminology. It came from genetics. And genetics, everyone knows, life is genetics and genetics is life. Without genetics, we can't explain life. As a biologist, we all appreciate that life is full of heredity and variation. We have to inherit certain characters and also few characters will be new. So this is only the main characteristic of life. And Mendel, Brogger Mendel has started his experiments way back in 16th century and he has proved many laws of genetics but all were based on phenotypic observations. But present day we can give uh, direct evidence based on molecular genetics. Right away we can demonstrate the genes and explain the whole phenomena of genetics, what our uh, forefathers have told in 
based on the phenotypic observations and it took long time, 4-5 years for a single observation also. But now we can do it within a day, we can demonstrate many activities. Based on genomics. What is genomics? Genomics is, what is genetics? What is genomics? Genetics is study of particular loci or genes. Whereas genomics, everyone understands the whole genome is studied. Even human genome is cloned. Many of the bacterial genomes are cloned and we can detect many diseases by cloning human genes and predicting this person will have this disease in future and this kind of a medicine can be taken. So whole genome sequencing has paved the way for genomics and that gave a breakthrough in many research areas and along with the genomics, now they call it era of omics, era of omics, genomics, proteomics and based on the mRNA and synthesis of proteins, metabolites, metabolomics and transitional areas are there in this. So it is the era of omics, all are based on the genomics, based on the DNA and RNA. So this is about this and whole genome sequencing has proved a great way for this research and added to that advantage we have next gen sequencing, next generation sequencing within a short time we can sequence and tell a hereditary disease and beyond HLA typing the genomics is very very useful. HLA is based on this genomics. So with this now we will tell what is research, what is translational research. Everyone understands research has a basic component, basic research and applied research. So basic research is nothing but in the lab we find out some biomolecules then it is a basic research. Like in the 1950s they addressed and found out herbs, found out the drug cycle and he discovered the drug cycle and the one more scientist discovered about the exokinase and important enzyme in that. These are basic research. Once it is taken to the field or to the clinical site, then it becomes applied research. So based on this, some metabolic events are there and based on that some medicines are given. The explanation is used as a pathogenesis of some disease, then it becomes applied research. Now what is transnational research? It's a new terminology coined some decade ago and it denotes bench to bedside. Very easy to remember this. What is translational research? Bench to bedside. Whatever they discovered in the laboratory benches have to be taken to the bedside for clinical diagnosis, cure, treatment and also prevention. This is well proved in case of COVID. Uh, the COVID vaccine indigenously made in India. You can see the evolution of this vaccine. First, it was a virus which was isolated in NIV, National Institute of Virology, Pune. They isolated the virus in the lab. Subsequently, ICMR characterized it, did some animal studies, and this virus was attenuated. And because vaccine demand for India was in pros, nobody can beat it financially, so we thought of producing indigenously. ICMR characterized the whole thing, did some animal studies. But <clears throat> we need a industry to produce and market. That was given by Bharat Biotech. They took up the patent, they produced and the whole country is vaccinated today. And you can see the third or fourth wave, not much as uneventful and nobody suffered in the major disease because of three doses of vaccination and that was possible because of this kind of a bench to bedside, bench to community. This research was only by transnational research. To give more depth, this is not, they didn't involve any genetics or molecular, just virus was isolated, attenuated and given as a vaccine. But in cancer biology, lot of transnational research is going on and the, the exokinase is again the similar example. It was discovered in 1950, applied all these years for various drug discoveries, but today they have found out Exokinase is one important enzyme for cancer metabolism where the glycolysis is activated. So if you cut down this exokinase, the cancer patients might have a better uh, life or better weight gain. Some phenomena is going on. 
and now they have found out exokinase inhibitors and they are using as drugs and exokinase markers have been used for diagnosis of cancer patients and again in cancer biology genetics plays a very major role and genotyping they detect the mutations and genotypes and we can predict this person will survive for a longer time this person will the malignant growth will be very faster and beyond that even radiation response can be predicted using this genetic studies in cancer biology all this is possible only because of bench to bedside which is nothing but translational research and today it is only cellular level and they our friends have listed out stem cells and then so many other areas where this research is going on cell is made of genes and without genes the cell can't function and without both are interdependent and that's why we have named the club as cell clinical cellular molecular genetics transnational research so it is very rightly named and it is to be taken to the patient care areas otherwise it will be just lying in the lab and it will be just perishing in the lab without any use for the humanity so so much of activities are there and regarding the club activities they have very well explained the motto and few activities will uh, uh, give awareness about various programs going in on research of transnational and molecular genetics so anyone who is interested can take up this research and go about doing the research in this aspects at various institutes but one more point which we discussed with all of our uh, friends and they felt that even now we are not venturing into the area of full time research even a few days back i searched who are our seniors who are involved in full time research hardly very few people i could uh, get who are involved in icmr research even they have done various fields they have done uh, community medicine they have done pediatrics general medicine some basic sciences they have ventured into icmr like institutes doing full time research so this is one area both in india and abroad you got plenty of chances career opportunities to do full time research and come out with lot of laurels and yesterday we had the chance to see about various indian scientists who have contributed to the world it is enormous only we didn't celebrate them I just sent to sudarshan balaji we will share it with others also there was a list of western scientists but our list was bigger who have proved in various molecular level research so this audience within few years we can say your names also in that list so that this club will create lot of awareness and we'll go about doing lot of activities with dean madam vp madam medical subhanan madam and deputy subhanan madam guidance and all our process have readily accepted and become a member of this club so we'll have lot of activities create awareness and few of you can take not few many of you can take it as a full time career and you can grow and become very successful and many noble laureates can be from kilbot medical college and one is already there the lishman and donovan they have discovered lishmania donovan is the gossett agent for kalazar donovan as at that time being working in our government rayapeta hospital so credit is all there we can do your thing thank you one and all thank you so much and uh, now appreciation and gratitude towards all our honorable dignitaries who have all been so supportive and encouraging i humbly request our respected director of medical education osd and dean of government kilpak medical college and hospital professor dr r shanti malarma who has been so supportive of this initiative to kindly accept a token of our gratitude from vice principal ma'am Dr. Ratna Manjushri Jairaman 
and mom who has been with us through every step of the way to now kindly accept a token of our gratitude from Dr. V. Meera Ma'am. Perfecting. So that is why a teacher is called an Asriyan in Tamil. 
So I happen to have a look at the objective of uh, your club. So it says to insight and to educate and to spread awareness regarding genetics and genomics. And in single one liner, our uh, professor had point from bench to bed. So that explains everything in one word. I was wondering when I came what this translational uh, uh, genomics was all about in one line.
Thank you, ma'am, for always encouraging us to reach greater heights. We students shall strive to always make you proud. We would like to take this time to place on record our immeasurable love, respect, and gratitude for all the wonderful professors of our institution who all have taken time off their busy schedules to grace this occasion. Our sincere thanks to Dr. Kani Sheikh Mohammed, sir, former medical superintendent, Government Peripheral Hospital, Ananagar, Dr. V. Lokanayaki, ma'am, professor and head of anatomy, Government Kipak Medical College and Hospital, Dr. S. Ravichandran, sir, professor and head of physiology, Dr. A. Balasubramanian, sir, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. C. Gunasundari, ma'am, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. J. Vinoda, ma'am, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. C. Archana Devi, ma'am, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. D. Hemalata, ma'am, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. P. Deepa Lakshmi, ma'am, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. A. Preeti, ma'am, assistant professor of biochemistry, Dr. T. Aruna, ma'am, professor and head of the Department of Pharmacology, Dr. R. Selvakumar, sir, professor and head of the Department of Forensic Medicine, Dr. K. V. Vinod, sir, associate professor of Forensic Medicine, Dr. D. Therese Mary, ma'am, associate professor of Microbiology, Dr. M. Sugandhi, ma'am, associate professor of Microbiology, Dr. K. Usha Krishnan, ma'am, associate professor of Microbiology, Dr. C. Rajasekaran, sir, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. P. Ananta Krishnan, sir, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. D. Kalpana Raj, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. C. Amuda, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. C. Devi, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. Lavanya T. Kamalasekaran, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. A. Madhumati, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology, Dr. M. Sundaranjini, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology, and Dr. V. G. Praveena, ma'am, assistant professor of Microbiology. Over to my book. Dr. S. Gomati, ma'am, associate professor of pathology, Dr. S. Asikala, ma'am, associate professor of pathology, Dr. M. Jayalakshmi Devi, ma'am, associate professor of pathology, Dr. Teliflo Bhupati, ma'am, associate professor of pathology, Dr. K. Mary Ramola, ma'am, professor and head of community medicine, Dr. S. Srinivasan, sir, professor and head of ophthalmology, Dr. S. Muthuchitra, ma'am, professor and head of otorhinolaryngology, Dr. S. Mary Nirmala, ma'am, associate professor of otorhinolaryngology, Dr. B. Shanti, ma'am, professor and head of general surgery, Dr. M. Parimala, ma'am, professor of general surgery, Dr. D. Durai, sir, Professor of General Surgery, Dr. S. Tirunavakarasi, sir, Associate Professor of General Surgery, Dr. V. Tirunarayan, sir, Professor of Orthopedics, Dr. V. Vanita, ma'am, Professor and Head of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. S. Shanti, ma'am, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. Gomati, ma'am, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. V. E. Vivekanandan, sir, Professor and Head of Pediatrics, Dr. Sri Devi A. Narayan, ma'am, Professor and uh, Associate Professor of Pediatrics, Dr. P. Parandaman, sir, Professor and Head of Medicine, Dr. S. Geeta, ma'am, Professor of Medicine, Dr. K. E. Govindarajulu, sir, Professor of Medicine, Dr. Sheikh Suleiman Miran, sir, Professor of Medicine, Dr. T. Ramesh Kumar, sir, Professor of Medicine, Dr. D. Ramesh, sir, Associate Professor of Medicine. Over to Bhavadani. Dr. K. Devi Meenal, sir, ma'am, Professor of Pediatrics, Dr. C.S. Gautaman, sir, Associate Professor of Medicine. Dr. S. Geeta, ma'am, Associate Professor of Medicine. Dr. R. Vijay Usharaj, ma'am, Registrar and Senior Assistant Professor of Medicine. Dr. T. Murugan, sir, Professor and Head of Anesthesiology. Dr. M. Nandakumar, sir, Professor and Head of Cardiology. Dr. M. A. Aramugam, sir, Professor of Cardiology. Dr. J. Manjula, ma'am, Professor and Head of Dermatology. Dr. S. Murugan, sir, Associate Professor of Dermatology. Dr. A. Shanmugam, sir, Professor and Head of Diabetology. Dr. M. Jayashankar, sir, Professor and Head of Emergency Medicine. Dr. Jayakumar Jayakrishnan, sir, Assistant Professor of Medical Gastroenterology. Dr. J. Kannan, sir, Professor and Head of Medical Oncology. Dr. T. Balasubramanian, sir, Professor and Head of Nephrology. Dr. S. Belusami, sir, Professor and Head of Neurology. Dr. P. Tirunavakarasi, sir, Professor and Head of Medical, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Dr. Angelin Selvaraj, ma'am, Former Professor and Head of Plastic Surgery. Dr. M. Malayapan, sir, Professor and Head of Psychiatry. 
Dr. C. Jayakrishna Venimam, Associate Professor of Psychiatry, Dr. S. Saravanan Sir, Professor and Head of Radiation Oncology, Dr. J. Devi Meenal Ma'am, Professor and Head of Radio Diagnosis, Dr. S. Bala Meenal Ma'am, Associate Professor and Head of Rheumatology, Dr. L. Anand Sir, Professor and Head of Surgical Gastroenterology, Dr. S. Subbaya Sir, Professor and Head of Surgical Oncology, Dr. G. Sivashankar Sir, Professor and Head of Urology. As a mark of respect, we would also like to acknowledge and thank the KMC Alumni Association for supporting us in all our academic initiatives, particularly Dr. Prasad Manne Sir, Secretary of Association. Thank you, sir. The token presented to you has been handcrafted specially for this occasion over the course of 30 days by children with special needs and children belonging to the autism spectrum from the VXL Educational Trust. Over to Vaidha. Acknowledging all the good we have now is the foundation for all days, all abundance in the days to come. This occasion would be incomplete without acknowledging the efforts of all the people that have worked in synergism to make this day a success. They deserve our unfettered gratitude and hence, I would like to humbly invite the joint faculty in charge of the CC and GTR club and head of the department of microbiology, Government Kipak Medical College and Hospital, Professor Dr. Kyagarajan Ravinder Sir, to kindly come to the podium to deliver a formal vote of thanks to this benevolent gathering.
one of our friend mentioned his name in the beginning, a very good teacher. Three discoveries he has made. It's none other than our people's president, Missile Man, Dr. ABG, Abdul Kalam. Today, you can say all respects, he is a good teacher. And even though he is from missile field, he has given three important discoveries for medicine. Yeah, and with one interview I have seen, uh, Vivek sir asked the uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, which is your greatest moment or in life which you cherish, he told this discovery one. He has made the material glass with polypropylene reinforced for making polio calipers and he insisted the organizers that he will only give it to the polio children and he gave it and they wore that and they were running. Others were very happy, so this is the most cherishable moment because he reduced the weight from 3 kgs to 300 grams, not along the weight, financially also from few thousands to few hundreds. That was the major discovery from a man who was in the other field. He was a missile engineer, aeronautical engineer, and he discovered this in the medical field, and so much of children have benefited even today. Next one is the Kalam Raju stem. Same material for a different purpose, very small precision made alarm radio step for the stenosis and the heart the coronaries, that is a success. And he also gave a communication tool. He gave a tap which can be operated even by a PHC worker and it can be connected throughout our country. These are the three discoveries who uh, given by a person from a different field. So as a medico, we can even contribute more and this club will be paying a great pay for that and wish you all a grand success. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. Like all good things must come to an end, so has this ceremony. Let us end it the right way by rising for the national anthem. Oh, 